I'm going to do a little full self-driving drive. I'm going to try not to touch the steering wheel the whole time. I don't think that's going to happen, but let's see. Right from a parking spot, hit it out. It's very cautious about this turn, but that's just fine. There's a stop sign right here that it completely... It ran a stop sign. Alright, so that didn't start out very good there. Lost my camera because the car stopped so hard. It stopped well after the stop sign and hard. Alright, it got this stop sign good. Batting, batting 500 now. car is parked along here and the car is uncomfortably close to the cars. Should have given a few feet to... My butt's getting hot here. So anyway, should have given a few feet in case if somebody was opening the car door. There's a blinking yellow light coming up. I really shouldn't have to care about. And it went through just fine. That's good. In the past it would slow down really hard. And now it's coming very fast to this red light and it's picking the wrong lane. It went really wide. That was uncomfortable. Luckily, there's no one too close to me. It's a sharp turn to a red light with two lanes, and for some reason, it always has a hard time picking the correct, the correct lane. I am on version 12.5.4.1 of full self-driving. when I'm going to get 12.6. Now the blinker of this van went on, but the Tesla didn't slow down until it was pretty late. As soon as you see the blinker go on and the brake lights go on, you know that you should start slowing down. I had it navigating to this parking lot and it had its blinker on and it was pulling over, but it wasn't pulling into the parking lot. There's a car behind me. I didn't mean to. Let's see. I'm going here next. Maybe I did mess up because I accidentally hit end trip instead of edit trip. Because I wanted to remove that stop. I was having to come here just for guidance. And, you know, while I'm here, it's interesting, it sees a parking lot here. These are angled parking spots. It sees a parking spot here. Will it try to park into this spot? This is bizarre. It's kind of trying to park in an angled spot. I don't know why it sees that as a spot where it's straddling the line. Where is it going? <laughs> so somehow it saw this as a parking spot. I don't know about that. So anyway. Yes, so it is on 
full self driving now. I guess I have to tap the gas for it to get going. And where's it going? Exit's over there. It's heading in the wrong way. Do not enter aerospace me. Oh my goodness. The exit is over here, always to the right when you exit. Alright. Maybe now I won't have to touch the steering wheel. That was really interesting how it somehow found a parking spot when there wasn't where there wasn't one but there were angled parking spots. So the Berlin Turnpike is Route 5 slash 15. And in previous versions it would see the route sign and think that the speed limit dropped down to 15 miles per hour where the speed limit is 50 and it was very dangerous you had to be quick on the accelerator otherwise you'd get rear-ended let's see we're gonna turn right on right here two cars passing and then we should we are clear to go i'm gonna press the accelerator what we didn't want to turn right on red but anyway, I wanted to see now that I'm on 12.5.4.1 if it would take these root number signs and still think it's a speed limit. But so far, I just passed two of the signs that it has had issues with them in the past and it's still keeping the speed limit at 50. When the car in front of you is slowing down on a two lane road and there's no one to the left, you should get over. Instead, it just braked. And now it does want to get over. Should have gotten over right away. So I'll be able to see now how long it will camp out in the lane. And the light just turned red, but it's not slowing down right away. It was just accelerated for two seconds longer than it should have, just wasted battery. The acceleration was awfully strong there. We have, we have 100 feet on the closest car. That wasn't good. After that super strong acceleration, it's not even going the speed limit. It's going to 48 and the 50. Slowing down even more. There is a green light ahead and there's no one in the lane. slowing down hard for the green light. It slowed down to 40 miles per hour for the green light. I had to press the accelerator. Oh, oh, that's jerking. I don't know what's going on, but now there is a red light up ahead. I would start slowing down now. This auto, this auto speed is on. So this roll wheel does nothing. that intersection there was another route 515 sign and it did not slow down to 15 so it seems like they have fixed this issue that's very good there was also a route 160 sign a junction route 160 sign that we passed in the past it's changed the speed limit to 60 and it held it at 50 so again very good now there's a red light up ahead I'm gonna hit the I'm hitting the brake because I should have just turned off full self driving. It was it was approaching a red light way too fast. It was not slowing down once it saw the light was red. It says stop at traffic control. Use accelerator or gear stalk to continue. I have the 
blue steering wheel there. Okay. It did accelerate on its own from the stoplight. I don't know why that message was there. Now we should be getting over to the right because there is traffic building up behind us. But it's not. I'm going to turn the signal on myself. I don't know why it was camping out going slowly. I am about a mile away from the wildfires that have been going on in Berlin, Connecticut. There's Lamentation Mountain where the fires are happening. I can see the smoke in the air. It's very light right now. It's very bright out, so it's hard to see the, the smoke. And again, we are not slowing down for traffic up ahead, but at least now we are signaling to get over. But anyway, the, the fire has been burning for about five days now. It's burned over I think a hundred acres of this hill. It's not going to show up on camera at all. But it's really a big fire for Connecticut. It's not big for Canada or Colorado or California's standards, but it is for us. Unfortunately, one firefighter did, did die trying to fight the fire. But, yeah, although you can see the, the smoke with the naked eye, the camera is not picking it up at all. All the firefighters are staging at this the day's end. Been working around the clock. Getting, turning right in a half mile, but we're still not over. We have a great chance to get over now. Now it's 0.4 miles. Now it is getting over, but it could have lost the chance it had. Let's see how it handles this high speed turn. signaled in the proper amount of time, got over very smoothly into the turn lane. Doing a great job on this turn, that's for sure. We're going near Silver Lake in Berlin, Connecticut. This is where helicopters have been scooping up water and dumping it on the fire. Two helicopters have been going, making hundreds of trips. So the lake is closed. There's a boat launch, you can kayak there, but clearly it's closed now. Let's see this turn, it isn't doing a great job. I had to scoot it over to the right. That was scary how close it was to the cars. It wasn't using enough of the road on the right. Yikes. Turning back around, headed back towards uh, a park to do some actually smart summon testing. zero visibility from this stop sign, so it's creeping forward nicely. I was about to say it did a good job, but then once it started to go, it failed. 
This is another tricky stop sign for the road. It's a very sharp angle. Oh, hitting the brakes. There's a car coming. Don't know what it thought it could see, but certainly did not see that car that was 100% in the way. That time for, for this light, it did a very good job of seeing that it was yellow, so it started to slow down in time. I don't know why it's not consistent. And this is a lot more acceleration than I would ever do, especially going uphill into stop traffic to get over. Another red light up ahead, but we're not slowing down yet. And now we're using friction brakes when we could have just eased it in. The right lane is wide open. We're turning right in six tenths of a mile. I don't know why it's not getting over. Get over now. Especially, it's slowing down for this truck in front of us. Just get over! Get out of traffic faster. Speed bump here. It's f speed bump. You don't come so fast over a speed bump. The speed limit is 15. It's going 28 to 27. It didn't slow down for that speed bump back there. destination. A lot of parking spots are around. I should just pull into one. I don't know why it's, you know what it's doing here. I'll turn off full self-driving and then it will turn into a parking lot. Uh, parking spot? I don't get it. With this newer version of full self-driving, it Looks like the radius got bigger for the actually smart summon. So, decently far away, and I still have a lot of room to go. I'm gonna have the car come to me. It's way over there. I'm gonna see how it handles coming down this roadway. It's not really a roadway, it's part of the parking lot. As though I wanted to be picked up after a run. <laughs> doing a good job. I want to see if it'll go back to where it was basically. But it's going to have to either turn around, but it's kind of a one way road. It's going to have to exit out of the radius and then get back into it. So I'm very close to the spot where I sent it to. But since it's a one way road, it's going to have to go around. But it's going to leave the radius. Well, actually. The radius has gotten bigger, so now it doesn't have to leave the radius. Let's see. As 
a stop sign there. Signal on. There's no one really using the park, and I could see the, the camera in the car. The car's camera is working nicely. It says it's reducing speed due to being out of range, but it's really not out of range, and it's still coming. And I could see there's nothing in front of it. It's basically crawling, but it's still coming. You can't see it from here. It's stopping due to being out of range now. Okay, I'm out of range. So I need to get a little closer. The target's still in its range, but since I'm out of range. Let's see, I walked... I walked a little bit closer, still going closer. All right, now I'm within range. So now it'll go. So it did get too far from me initially. Oh, there's the helicopter that's going to be dropping water on the fire. Alright, car's coming. It says it's out of range, but it's not really took itself out of range. All right, it's back in range. Here it comes. All right, it's made it to its target. It's hard to see over there. But now I'm gonna wanna make it come back towards me some more. I want to park can I want to park right over here no one in the parking lot so it's the camera you can see there's no one around and here it comes it's working pretty well I kind of sent it to this parking spot over here but let's see okay it's just pulling up along it but yeah, it's right where I sent it to. Now I'm standing in a parking spot. I'm going to use come to me. It should just back up or pull through those spots to get to me, but it's gonna go all the way down and around the end. It should still be in the, in the range. That's going so far away from me to come to me. Come to me, come to me now. Should just take that sharp turn. Yep, the map shows that it will just, sorry. Yep, it's doing a nice turn around the end there. And here it comes. Very slowly. It says reducing speed due to being out of range, but it's The range moved. Here it comes, super slowly. There's a there's a guy in that truck there. Now it should just pull through these empty parking spots and come right towards me. But no, it has to go all the way around. And will it pull into this spot that I'm standing in? Just come right towards me. What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm over here. I said come to me. That's not coming to me. Pssh. 